Hi guys, in this video, we'll be implementing uh, AI agents with the help of LangChain. So before starting with uh, like actual agentic AI framework, first of all, I want to show you how we can implement these kinds of AI agents with the help of LangChain because LangChain is also having some functionality. Uh, with the help of that, you can uh, easily uh, create these kinds of AI agents. But whenever I'm talking about any agentic AI framework like Crew AI, then LangGraph, then we also have something called LangFlow, okay? Uh, then uh, there are some more tools are also available in the market so this will help you to build your application in the easiest way because it has all the functionality integrated with that okay you don't need to write the code from scratch so first of all let's try to see how we can implement with the help of langchain then i will also show you how we can use these are the framework for implementing our agentic ai project okay so i already prepared uh, one notebook so inside that i'll uh, show you some of the demo how uh, it can be done so after that i think definitely your uh, confusion would be clear so how to set up this project guys this project will be available in your resources section from there you can download and you can set up with me so to set up the project guys first of all open up your terminal okay and you have to create one environment here so how to create the environment just write conda create okay conda create hyphen in then you can give the name of the environment let's say i'll give agent demo okay then you can specify the python let's say i want to use python is equal to three point 11 okay then hyphen y so this command you have to execute so whenever you will execute it will create one environment for you so for me i already have the environment so let me activate so to activate the environment just write conda activate okay agent demo see guys i already activated my environment now the next thing you have to install this particular requirement.txt inside requirements i have mentioned all of the requirements okay you need to run this project so here just write pip install okay hyphen r requirement.txt so if i execute so it will install all the requirement so for me it is already satisfied because i already installed previously now the next thing you just need to open up this uh, agents underscore demo dot ipynb file okay and make sure you select your kernel here so for me i already selected my environment now first of all let's uh, import the langchain and if you see this is the langchain version actually i'm using here now, first of all, you have to import some library. Okay, the library actually you need to build your agents. Now you can see I'm importing uh, actually agents. That means initialize agents and tool from the LangChain itself. Then I'm also using one large language model. Okay, that means we'll be using OpenAI large language model. That means GPT model will be using. And for this, you need to get the OpenAI API key. So here I created another file called .env. Inside that, I mentioned my OpenAI API key. So here you can see this is my key. So just try to replace your API key here, guys. I'm not going to share my API key. Just try to create one API key and try to paste it here. Then after that, here you can see I'm uh, importing this .env because with the help of .env, we'll try to load this env file and we'll try to load our credential. Then operating system because I want to get it as an environment variable, okay? Now let me import all of them. Now this particular code will load your open api key from the env file itself so let me uh, load it now here is the agent demo guys so here you can see first of all i'm initializing one tool and what is tool tools is nothing but uh, tools will help you let's say whenever you are asking something to the agents first of all it will check whether this question is available okay to the knowledge base or not let's say it is using gpt model right let's say gpt 3.5 turbo model it is using first of all let's say you have asked one question tell me about latest movie okay in 2025 and i think you know that all the model has their knowledge cut off that means gpt 3.5 turbo has been trained till 2021 okay october i think they trained the model but after 2021 whatever let's information we have it doesn't know so first of all it will check whether this information is available in the knowledge base or not if it is not available then what it will do it will use some search tool okay so this DuckDuckGo is a search tool okay so it will search over the internet and it will get the latest information about your question and it will pass to the LLM and LLM will try to summarize and refine and LLM will try to provide you the answer. Okay, so this is the work of agents. So here I'm using one tool called DuckDuckGo. Okay, if you want to learn more about the DuckDuckGo, just go to the documentation of DuckDuckGo and from there you can get it. So here I'm initializing the tool. So tool name is DuckDuckGo search and you have to create a function and you have to specify the description. Then you have to initialize the LLM and here we are creating the tool that means tool wise i'm using this search tool that means DuckDuckGo. now here we are initializing the agents so inside that i'm passing the tool i'm passing the llm and the agents so here i'm telling it should be a zero shot react description okay and verbose is equal to true that means it will print all the execution in my console now here finally i'm executing my agents with the help of run function and here is the 
uh, let's say question I'm asking what are the latest top rating movies in 2025 so definitely this information is not available inside my model because I'm the model actually I'm using it is trained till 2021 so what it will do it will use DuckDuckGo to perform the search operation over the internet and it will give you the response okay so let me execute and let me show you see if I execute this agents see it is entering into the uh, agents executor chain that means it is using DuckDuckGo so guys you can see after execution uh, here is the answer I got so the top ranking movies in uh, 2025 sir Betterman Captain America uh, Brave New World and uh, Wicked okay for good among others so that means uh, now how it is able to get the latest information because it is using the search tool it is uh, first of all searching over the internet and that response it is uh, passing to the LLM and LLM is uh, actually processing and it is giving you the okay refined answer so that's actually your agents work okay so it needs a tool so that tool can uh, like perform the search operation in real time so this is just a single agents demo uh, later on I will also show you how we can create the multi agents that means one agents will pass uh, the task to another agents and it will try to perform that jobs okay now let's see another demo so we'll uh, show you the wikipedia search let's say instead of using any search tool you can also use wikipedia search okay to perform the search operation so here i'm importing this wikipedia api wrapper and now here i'm creating the wikipedia search tool you can see then initializing the model and now tool is equal to my uh, wikipedia search tool and here i'm asking who is elon musk tell me the latest news of him now if i execute So here is the response you got. Elon Musk is the billionaire businessman and uh, political figure known his role in Tesla and uh, so on. Okay. So see, it is able to give me the uh, response. Now, if you want, you can also create a SQLite uh, database agents. Let's say you have one SQLite okay, database. Now you want to perform some uh, query on top of that. Okay. Without using any SQL commands, you can also create agents on top of it. Okay. First of all, you have to connect that uh, database. So this will create uh, actually a table inside that it will uh, actually store some data after that it will close the connection so let's create the data hmm. now i will import my sql database and sql database toolkit now here i am creating the agent so first of all let's load that database then initializing the openai model and sqlite uh, uh, database toolkit so db and llm here i'm providing and this is going to be my tool now here uh, let's execute so how many units of product a are in the stock now if i ask this question So see it is automatically like performing that SQL operation and it is finding that answer. Okay, so here final answer 150 units of product A are in the stock. I hope you got it. If you want you can also uh, use archive query run. So I think you know archive is a website it has all the research paper. So you can also create one agents on top of that. So here I'm importing all the necessary library and here I'm importing archive query run. So here is the tool I have created archive query run and uh, this is the tool. So let me uh, show you. So see this is the model and here is the tool and again I'm uh, creating the agents and here we're do doing the search operation. Sar uh, search for a research paper on object detection in 2024. That's why this is my question. So it will automatically search the paper or the object detection and it will show me. See, it is getting lots of publication and after searching on archive, I found three relevant research paper for object detection. So title is uh, towards uh, reflected object detection. Okay, benchmark by, uh, see, this is the author. Uh, and apart from that, some more people title is there. Okay, great. It's working fine. You can also create a file agent. So, okay, let's say you have a file, txt file or another file. Uh, here also you can create an agent. So let me import uh, some like library now here i'm creating the tool so here i'm telling i need to use a file for the uh, like edge so that's why i'm creating read file tool and on initializing the model this is the tool and here i'm initializing the agents now here i'm asking one question uh, read the content of the file name that means that's in the file i have some content uh, and first of all it will load and it will summarize that content for me okay so let me show you So the content we, uh, we have in the file related my YouTube channel. So the content of the file example txt about data science, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, computer vision and so on. Okay. That means if you read that uh, content, okay, you'll see that. Uh, so this is the summary of that content. So this is the basics, let's say agents demo and we can create with the help of LangChain, simple LangChain only. Now going forward, we'll also see how we can use some amazing framework to create uh, these kinds of agent TKI application. Even I will also show you how we can create the multi agents application as well.
so yes guys this is all about and please try to execute the code uh, thanks for watching and i will see you next time